If you're planning to sell, recycle or give away an old computer, then I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to ensure all your private and personal data is securely erased from it so that it's completely unrecoverable using this nifty little device, the Red Key USB. First, shut down and turn off your computer, then insert the Red Key USB into a USB port. Now we need to boot up your computer from that USB drive. Press the power button and then press F12 or delete repeatedly. It'll vary from computer to computer, but what we're looking for is either boot menu or boot order or something similar. On most computers, it will flash up telling you which button you need to press. And if you're not quick enough, don't worry. Just press and hold the power button to turn off and try again. On this old Dell laptop, it's F12 that I need to press, which gives me this boot order screen. So I'll select USB storage device. If yours doesn't label it like that, choose USB media device or anything similar. If you don't have options for a little boot menu like this, then you may need to go into your computer's BIOS settings and hunt around for a setting named Boot Sequence or, again, something similar. On this Dell laptop, Boot Sequence is found under System. Hitting Enter lets me go into those settings and then I can press the up and down arrow keys to move USB storage device to the top of the list, meaning the computer will load up whatever's on the USB drive before looking to its own hard drive containing, in this case, Windows 10. Once that's done, you can exit setup, saving changes, and your computer will restart. So after that, and regardless of which route you took to get here, you should see a red key BIOS boot menu like this saying red key detected and giving you the option to accept the default settings, which I'd advise in most cases, or override them if you need to and you know what you're doing. After a short pause, the red key system should start loading like this. And you'll notice again the warning that red key permanently destroys data. So if you need to have your data backed up, make sure that's definitely done as you won't be getting anything back. Red key will then scan your system and detect all the hard disks installed. If you have a desktop PC, you may well have more than one hard drive, but in most laptops, there'll just be one. You might, like here, have a frozen drive, in which case it will guide you through unfreezing it for you, which involves the screen going blank for a while, and then when it comes back on, you click the button to confirm the screen is back on. After that, it will just get going with obliterating all the data on there, unless you stop it before the countdown concludes if you want to view or change the settings and what method it's going to use to do the wiping. If you do that, you can use the built-in hex viewer to see the raw data on your hard drive before it's wiped. And if you click on disk options, you can choose from one of the predefined standard algorithms for data erasure. For this, I chose zero fill, which will, you've guessed it, fill the hard drive up with zeros in place of all the data. But that's not the only erasure option. As you'll see, there are 25 data wipe standards to choose from. So you can select a specific algorithm if you need to comply with a policy in your workplace or environment. So after pressing start, it took about an hour and a half on this old laptop's hard drive, but obviously that time will vary depending on the size and speed of your hard drive, how many drives you're wiping and how powerful the rest of the computer hardware is. It has a screensaver and will play some nice gentle sounds whilst you're waiting. According to its makers, the Red Key USB can utilize the powerful but generally unknown secure erase commands that have been built into the firmware of hard drives by manufacturers for some time now. ATA commands are usually inaccessible to users as non-user accessible areas, but RedKey can circumvent this restriction as it's based on Linux. This low-level hard drive stuff is outside of my main area of expertise or interest, so I've left a link in the video description if you're interested and want to read up more. Once it's done, you'll see a Matrix-style animation and it'll proudly proclaim Data Wiped. If you like, you can then view the raw data on your hard drive using the hex viewer and, yep, it's all gone and overwritten with zeros. Click exit and then power off to shut down your computer and remove the red key USB. You're now ready to install whatever operating system you like on the computer or do whatever else you like with it, with no trace of any of your private and personal data left behind.